we want to calculate the support reactions of this statically determinate beam. The beam rests on two roller supports and a fixed support. Additionally, the beam has two internal hinges. There is a hinge at C and one at D. To begin the analysis, we split the beam at the internal hinges, resulting in three separate beam segments. There is an axial force and a shear force at each hinge. Bending moment at the hinge is zero. To accurately represent these internal forces, we must show the axial and shear forces on the left and right sides of each hinge. The two axial forces must be shown in opposing directions. If one is oriented to the left, the other should be directed to the right. Similarly, if one shear force is directed downward, its counterpart should be drawn pointing upward. It's important to emphasize that the axial forces depicted at each hinge should be of equal magnitude. The same applies to the shear forces at each hinge. Let's label the force magnitudes. For the left hinge, the axial force magnitude is denoted as Cx and the shear force as Bc. For the right hinge, the axial force is labeled dx and the shear force is represented by Vd. This is a partial free body diagram of the beam. To complete the diagram, we need to show the support reaction forces. The roller support at point A has one vertical reaction force. The roller at B also has one reaction force. The fixed support has three reaction forces. To facilitate writing the equilibrium equations, we can replace each distributed load with its equivalent concentrated load. This rectangular load can be replaced by a point load of 28 kilonewtons. The load is placed at the center of the rectangle. Since the area of this rectangle is 28, we replace it with a point load of 28 kilonewtons placed at the center of rectangle. Similarly, this rectangle can be replaced with a point load of 28 kilonewtons. This diagram constitutes the complete free body diagram for the beam. We are now ready to write the static equilibrium equations. For each segment of the beam, we need to write three equilibrium equations. The sum of the forces in the x direction, the sum of the forces in the y direction, and the sum of the bending moments about the z axis must be zero. For the left segment of the beam, the equilibrium equations become. For the middle segment, the equations can be expressed as. And for the right segment, the equilibrium equations are. These nine equilibrium equations embody nine unknown variables. There are five unknown support reactions and four unknown axial and shear forces located at the two internal hinges. This equation states that Cx equals zero. If we substitute zero for Cx in this equation, we get dx equals zero. And this equation tells us that E sub x is also zero. Since this equation contains only one variable, we can use it to determine V sub d. Substituting negative 14 for V sub d in this equation, we can solve for V sub c. V sub c equals 14 kilonewtons. Substituting negative 14 for V sub d in this equation, we get E sub y. Now we can use this equation to determine M sub e. Since V sub c is known, this equation can be used to determine B sub y. Finally, we can use this equation to determine A y. Let's show the calculated forces on the free body diagram. So, here are the support reactions for the beam.